Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu, and today, again, experiencing something new, I'm recording this video in my room. Yes, the backdrop, it looks like Mexico, but we are not in, yeah, we are in Mexico, but this one is like a fake backdrop in Zoom. I'm going to try to make a video now today with Zoom in my room because I just don't have the time um, because we're still visiting all these places to find new house for the next couple of weeks, months, we don't know yet. Of course, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. So let's see how this works here with Zoom. And let's see if I can zoom in now into the charts first. How do I do that? Yes, I probably need to share my screen and then I will... Bam, bam, we can get back to bams. Okay, maybe I'm still on the screen. I don't know if you still see me. Uh, this is, by the way, my Twitter account. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at Didi Taihutu. I tweet every day. Um, this day, of course, about paid network because they have excited news again. They keep doing this excited news. And I really like this tweet today. It is necessary sometimes to take one step backward, to take two steps forward, like living on a campsite, for example, and after that, um, to travel the world. So that was um, my Twitter feed. Do follow me over there because I get can keep you up to date there as well. Um, how many followers do I have? At the moment, 24K followers. Let's go for 25K. Let's see if we can get some more followers over there. Let's jump into the charts, guys. Oh, Bitcoin is around 47,000 US dollar. Um, this is a four-hour chart, like you can see. Uh, here you can see it's a four-hour chart. There is a small trend line over here. There's a higher, high, higher low, higher low, higher low over here. This one should then be a little bit deeper like this. But we are still going up slightly upwards. There is a higher high. There is a higher high. So for me, this trend is still upwards. And again, you know, maybe we will go up to uh, around 50K again to test. Um, if we fall, we should fall to this green box, which is a huge area of support. But like you know, guys, I love to zoom out. And if we zoom out, we need to take a look at this chart. And this chart is a weekly chart. I always use the BLX. You can see on the right side here, this is the BLX. Um, and this chart I've been keeping you up to date on on the last couple of months. This is 2013. This is 2017. This is 2021. So you can see what happened in 2013 when we started to fight this midline and we didn't break it completely, we pulled back to this yellow 21 MA before we exploded to the top of this beautiful um, logarithmic growth curve. In 2017, we saw again the same. Yeah, you can see it over there. We were fighting the bit line. We couldn't break it. We fell down with a sharp block, drop. It's a weekly candle, so it was only one week retracement, bam, and up again, breaking it and going to the top. And if we look to today, we can see exactly the same happening, guys. We are fighting this midline. We broke it. Uh, we, we, we pulled back a little bit. I think this should have been the correction. We didn't correct back to the yellow line, which is different than uh, in the previous times. We hit 21 MA. Uh, but you can see when we broke this midline, it took like a couple of weeks, bam, to go to the top. We broke this midline. We closed the weekly candle above it. We are even closing this second weekly candle above it. So that could mean if we would copy this 2017 move, let me see if I can uh, draw that for you guys. Um, if we would copy from the first candle that we break to the top, that is this one, then we would, uh, okay, we would see this pattern from the first candle we broke, it would be this one. Then we would be forming a 2007 copy that would be will be ending around 160,000 US dollar, but already in April. So uh, I don't know if we are going to copy this or if we're going to pull back first to this yellow line and maybe form a second run, like we saw in 2013, we had the first run up to this line. We came down, we went sideways, bam, we went up again. And this is an alert guys, that there is a, a BTC USD Four hour is a short about the fire in the bam bam indicator. So that's why why you saw it. Uh, 
So this is what I'm watching, looking at. So yes, we can start to freak out about the short term movements to 47, to 48, maybe to 43, whatever. Um, but in the long term, we are still pretty bullish in this weekly chart. And there is a lot of upwards movement possible all the way to 100K over here. Um, like we can see in the bottom of the chart, you can see the stock RSI is curling up. And we can also see over here, the NVT is still red, guys, it's red. The moment we turn from red to yellow, that is the moment we expect the bear market to start again. This is still red. You can see here we have one peak, two peaks. The third was a high peak. It's even a, a bull trap, small peak again. We just had one peak, two peaks. Maybe we come back, third high peak, small peak again, and then we, I expect to go to yellow. That is how I expect the market to develop. Keeping the video short, guys, as I don't have a lot of time. That were all the charts for today. Um, I will also, at the end of this video, show you beautiful images from yesterday evening. I had a cool dinner with MM Crypto and Da Vinci J15 in a beautiful restaurant here in Tulum. But I will uh, share a little bit more of that at the end of the video. Now, let's take a look at the news. The news. Coinbase publicly reveals that it held Bitcoin on its balance sheet since 2012. This is pretty big that Coinbase is now finally saying, okay, we are also... We don't even, we are not a custodial service, but we are also holding Bitcoin in our balance sheet, which is, of course, very positive and for the whole market. More and more huge companies are now holding their Bitcoins on the balance sheet, which is really positive because they are holding for the long term. They are not holding for the short term. Some more news. Really cool. Barcelona striker Antoine Griezmann and Reddit co-founder, they joined the 50 million Sorare race. Sorare is a Japanese um, soccer game, you know, it's like this management soccer game. It's in an NFT craze, uh, really cool. Uh, you can buy players and you can um, um, sell players and can, you, you can manage the team. All in this virtual soccer um, team structure. I don't know how to say it perfect in English, but there is a lot of clubs involved with Sorare, Real Madrid, uh, uh, Bayern Munich, uh, Liverpool, Atletico, River Plate. So they all work together with Sorare and you can get these cards that we used to have when we were youngsters. You know, these end cards that we exchanging from players with each other and pasting them in this book. Now you have all this digital stuff. And it's like, that's what they call non-fungible tokens, NFT. So really cool. Um, do your own research. But I think Sorare, already, Sorare, Sorare, like in, the, in yeah, Japanese, I've mentioned the number many times before in my video. So keep an eye on this because I think it's a really cool project if you are a football lover. Then I saw some more news. Uh, people who bought Bitcoin in 2017 are now the strongest hodlers. Yes, I started to buy Bitcoin also in 2017, and I'm still hodlers. We already had a huge crash. We already had a huge bear market. We experienced the whole four-year cycle. So we are not, not selling at these small dips. And this is all what you can see in this like uh, graph that the 10 years veterans, they hold really tight. And the ones that bought it in 2017, they are still holding as well. And the noobs, the newbies, the new people into the market, they are now at the moment selling a little bit too fast, which um, creates a little bit of volatility. Uh, Willie Wu, I follow him many times because he has really cool information when it comes to off-chain analytics and all that stuff. So do give Willie Wu a follow. He's a huge uh, Twitter influencer and a, a big name in this space. What do I have else to share, guys? Um, no, I need to stop to share because now you can see my face uh, not like really clear. That's oh, is that the sun on the back? No, that's not the sun. That's a fake screen, did he? But you can see the waves, the palm. Mexico is as beautiful as you see now. It's just amazing. It's a it's a beautiful country, amazing food, amazing people, and we still need to get settled. We are in a beautiful place now, but uh, we want to spend some more time at the beach. So we will probably change to a hotel at the beach. And why? Because yesterday I went for a dinner with Chris and Da Vinci J15 and some other Bitcoiners. And check these videos now. They are amazing. The hotel, and no, I'm saying hotel, the restaurant we went, we had some really good food. And it was beautiful atmosphere with dancers and fires. Just check these videos. And, and after that, I will continue this. Check it now. Bam.
And it's a dinner here with Da Vinci, Emma Crypto, all the guys in here eating some Bitcoin food. I don't know what it is. They call it Bitcoin food. I hope you really enjoyed those videos. I mean, they were awesome. Did you see? Did you see these fires, man? And we had really good meat, and we had um, how do you call those? Like these, 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 these the things in, in the shell, and the like that slimy in your mouth. And we had a good dessert, and it was a good party vibe. It's beautiful to see that here in Mexico, it's all still open. You know, it's like all the world is on a lockdown, and 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 all the world is flying to Mexico. Mexico, the Mexico, handle So they are all flying to Mexico from all those lockdown countries that have COVID or whatever. And then they come to Mexico and there is no COVID here, you know, and we are all, I was talking to people from Austria, from Switzerland, Germany, from the United States, from Canada, all here in Mexico. And we don't have COVID. We don't have a lockdown. We don't wear face masks. Everything is open. Uh, I keep saying it. I find it really strange that it is possible to not have COVID here. Uh, while the whole world where is COVID is joining together here on meetups and everything. So let's see how that will develop. And um, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Yes, the, uh, the screen is not like really sharp. Uh, sorry for that. So tomorrow I will do it in a different way again. But if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching again. I'm going to zoom out. I want to remind you to always zoom out in Bitcoin and try to zoom in at life because it's very important to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. And yes, I will return back to my old rhythm and creating beautiful videos with sharp 4K images instead of this uh, yeah, crispy image with a fake palm tree and a fake sea. <laughs> but it was time. I was in, I was like, I didn't have enough time today. Sorry for that. But I hope you did enjoy it. So give it a thumbs up. See you tomorrow again. Bye. Bam.